and I'm gonna take a quick look at my uh, take a quick look at my inventory. I, I do believe I'm wearing the right stuff. Just want to make sure that uh, I registered as having done. Okay, I've done all the things. All right. So I'm gonna see if I can't talk to the Smith now. And the other Smith is gone. What do you witchers do once there are no battles? Interested in the weapon? There's a tale behind every item I've got. Okay. I'm still, I'm going to shop with him first. What are you peddling? And the reason why I'm shopping with him first is because I read, when I read up on how to do this, he, um, he won't do business with you after you, uh, so I'm gonna keep the enhanced feline and so in case I get superior feline. I don't need this anymore. Um, I'm gonna keep the enhanced stuff and I don't need the nice gauntlets. Yeah, most of the stuff I don't need. Oh, and I forgot to check my inventory for certain things. What does he have here? Horses fear level, 70 stamina, all right. All right, I do need this. All right. All right. What's this? Which a oh, winter hunt, which hunter sword? I don't need that. Okay. So, I'm going to go to crafting and he's not a master guy. I'm going to go ahead and repair all equipped. And we're going to back out. Okay. Oh, what's one of these weapons? Battle axe looks pretty old. Even older than this keep, and yet still sharp. Once each year, at Sayavid, this axe speaks. It tells of blood spilt in battles, of burning villages and sunken boats. Might be a curse. And might be it drank too much human blood. What certain is, no one wants it. I think I have something that was meant for you. Letter from me mum. Says here me sis was bringing it. How'd you come by it? Came across some bodies in the woods, victims of a monster attack. Found this letter on one of the dead, a woman. Singer's dead. Ah, told her and mom so many times. Come over, live with me. No, I had to stay on Pharaoh. I gotta send someone to fetch your body. I'm sorry. Thanks for bringing word. Not every man to go to the trouble. Here, take this. All right. What do you witchers do? Giants are running. All right, so that's that. Now, let's take a quick look at our quest line. Um, secondaries, there's Gwent, there's Fist of Fury. So basically after I do Fist of Fury, I think that's it. Um, I think I just go the main story um, all the way. Let's take Witcher contracts, nothing. And treasure hunts, nothing. All right. So I gotta try the boxing, and if I can't do the boxing, we're done here. <laughs> and rather than run all the way down, I'm gonna fast travel to the village right here. Yeah, we're fast traveling in Skellige from now on. That's just not. All right, now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to try this boxing one more time. All right, oh, there's one more thing we didn't do. Um, inventory. And... Roach, and we're going with horses fear level, all right, and 75 stamina, 
And bonus gold, damn it. Stay with bonus gold. I'm gonna have to look up if there's a way to stop the auto switching of the trophy. Maybe we needed a Alright, now we're gonna try to do this boxing. All right, let's I do this. I want to fight. Ron, tell me when you're ready. I'm ready now. Ready to fight any time, even now. Like to have some words with the Outlander first? I'm not throwing the fight. It's about my Erica. See her? I, I got a win today. She's watching. I don't stand a chance against you. I know it well, but I was thinking maybe you'd let me win. Listen, if I lose on purpose, we'll both regret it. Believe me. But it's Erica we're talking about. You don't understand a thing. Enough of this chatter. Fight! Alright, if you win, you win. Whatever. Alright. By the rates of Morhol, keep together! Alright. Come on, I've backed up. Alright. Alright. All right, no, he's not winning this. I got this. Come on, all right? Let's not dance sideways. All right. All right. You sealed, Bart. All right. Got him. The Outlanders won! Erica, wait! Let her go. You've Einar still to fight. Yeah, just one more guy, and I'm the champ of Skelliger. Something I've always wondered. What do you witchers they do once smear they your asses. Asses. Or giant. All right, so here's what we're going to do. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to stash. I'm going to go ahead and stash again my old witcher sword. I'm going to stash my feline sword. I'm going to stash the enhanced feline armor, the enhanced feline boots, and the enhanced, and the regular feline gauntlets. All right. All right. All right, now. I'm going to go and see if I can't beat Einar. All right, so. Um, I'm going to go here. And Einar is way the hell. Jesus Christ. Einar is way the half, half over here. All right. All right. Well, there's no way I'm going to. There's no way I'm doing that the old fashioned way. That's just ridiculous. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get to. Get to a fast travel point. What's your step? Did you sever his head? Hey, hey, oh. Okay. Alright, now we're fast traveling to Wow, it's a long way away. We're fast traveling here. And after we do that, we may be going on with the main quest. Alright. Maybe we need to destroy Alright, let's do this. Alright. Einer still wanna fight. That's all he's good for. You wish to face him? Yep, let's do it. Let's not keep Einar waiting. May it be a clean and beautiful fight. If you win, you're entitled to fight our champion. Fight! Alright, let's... Back away. Now that's a 
Alright, well, he's got. Uh, he hits hard. Alright. Three punches I should get, be able to get into these guys. Him? Oh. Alright, now, nah, he hits way too hard. Yeah, he hits. Like, he hits like an unfair amount hard. Alright, yeah. Alright, yeah, he... Yeah, I don't... Right. He's beatable, but he's... Like, he hits way harder than he should. Alright. Alright, yeah, he... Like, this is ridiculous. Like, I can beat him, but he hits too hard. Got him. Yeah. Beautiful fight. Congratulations on your victory. Time for your next challenge. If you don't fear fighting a champion, Olaf awaits you on Anskellig. Alright. Alright. Drink last night too. So we're gonna go back to uh Anskellig. I have no idea how hard a fight he is. But we're gonna fast travel to Skellig. Which is way the hell up here. Good grief. What the hell is that? Oh, that's Yennefer. Alright. Yeah, I'm way over leveled for that. Okay. Good grief. Okay. I don't know what the hell that is. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna fast travel here. All right. All right, now let's see if we can't get to uh, this boxer. What the hell? Where's the boxing at? These dudes are like boxing off in the woods. Storm, damn it. You've come to fight Olaf. He's long awaited a worthy opponent. Alright, let's do it. I want to face Olaf. This fighting's a Skellig a tradition. And here on Anne Skellig, that tradition's damn near hallowed. What makes your tradition special? Warrior by the name of Duns Ursus once lived in Anskellig. Fought monsters with his bare hands. Tourneys held in his honor. I'll fight as though my life depended on it. What do they call ye? Geralt of Rivia. Geralt of Rivia! Enter the arena! Alright, well, let's see if I can't enter the arena. How? All right, well, let's do it. Fighting is our sacred tradition. The blood spilt in this arena bears witness to the clan's strength. The victor today will be champion. Yet any who is bold enough to fight is already a hero. Really? Shit. Alright. Why is my health so low? Oh my god. Alright. Okay, no. Alright. Alright. 
So I can't use signs. Alright. He's beatable, but... Okay. Anyone else out there I could fight? If you've been named champion of Valen already, try your luck in Novigrad. Once you're all done, seal to Speaker Rock. It's there you'll fight to be champion of champions. All right. Wow. Never ever see him on Diana's charter. Vagrant. All right. So now we're just gonna go world map and we're gonna fast travel to where Yen is. Okay, no, we've got more uh, the tower out of nowhere. Okay, we've got more quests to do, apparently. More quests have popped up. So we're just gonna keep doing. We're just. We're gonna do every damn quest that this game throws at us. That's what's gonna happen. So. Tower out of nowhere. What is it? I got a job for you. There's no point standing here in the rain. All right, let's go to mine. We'll talk there. So what's the matter? You see that knoll beyond the village? Weren't a thing there for centuries. Till one day we awoke, and bam! There were a tower atop it. Then all of a sudden lightning started pounding down. As if the Nargo Fair itself was sailing in. Hasn't stopped to this day. Something's gotta be done. About the storm. With waves like that, we can't fish, nor sail out to raid. You tried getting inside the tower? Have we tried? Very same morning the tower appeared. We went right off. Whole village or near boats. Folk wanted to welcome its owner if he came in peace. Drive him off if he came with ill intent. We knocked and banged, but no one answered. So we opened the door. And that's when our knees turned to jelly. Why? Because beyond of that door was something like a sheet of water, but standing upright. Never seen such a thing in my life. Druid said it were magic. Gathered five brave lads, and they all marched in. No sign of them since. All right. Fine. I'll look into the tower. Once you're in, cast your eye around for the folk from our village. Our druid and five good lads. Ah, oh, it'd be a bitter shame to lose them. You have my word. Hemdel, guide you. Alright, well, we're gonna go into this tower. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to run into man. Yeah, I ran into that lady because I was actually looking at the map and not at where I was going. Okay, I just realized what I'm getting ready to do. So... I'm gonna go actually meditate for one hour. Alright. This way I have full potions. Oh, look at that. There's a giant along the way. So I'm going to quen up. I'm going to quen up. And I'm going to yearden. I'm going to hit this guy with some yearden powers. Alright. Alright. Alright, we got a quen. Oh 
Okay, nope. Heal me. Heal me with attacks. Hurt me to heal me. That's what you gotta do. Alright. They don't want to attack? Fine. Alright. Alright, let's move on. Alright. Okay, apparently I go, I cut through. Alright. Yikes. Not sure what the proper path is, but we're going. I'm hearing some all kinds of stuff going. Alright. Well. We'll do that. Oh, look at that. Right, let's go up first. Oh, we can't. So let's go down. A portal. Shit. Okay, here we go. Great. Portal closed. Hmm. Alright. Looks smaller from the outside. Alright, well, it looks like we gotta drop this. Intruder detected. Cease your intrusion. Leave at once. Failure to leave when summoned. Intruder neutralization commence. Okay, wow. Okay. can get in one hit before he swings back. Alright. 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 Now. Alright. Yes, yeah, that. Alright, he takes like one damage from that. Wow. Okay, let's climb up. And Yearden. Come on. Yearden. Yearden. And. Alright. Alright. Okay, nope. Clint. Nope, that was Yearden. Get him. Nope, that was Yearden. Get that coin up. Okay. Alright. Coin up. And get him. Okay, so what do we got here? Golem probably greeted them too. All right. All 
Colin probably greeted them too. Alright, what do we got? Something over here. Finally, someone's come to free me. And a famous witcher at that. Thank the gods. I'm damned lucky you happen to be in Korea. Was it King Tancred who sent you? Or the Society of Magic? Neither. And we're not in Kavir. We're in Skellige. Local folk hired me. See, your towers brought a massive storm to their island. We're in... in Skellige. So we've teleported. Oh, this is much worse than I thought. Not sure I follow. Oh, the tower is outfitted with the... A defensive regulatory magic on. What? A defensive system. Magic. Ensuring only the tower's owner will use it. When it detects an intruder, it locks down all the rooms, denies access. And since neither of us is the tower's owner, the golem attacked me and you're stuck behind bars. How do we evade its other charming features? We must deactivate the defensive regulatory magic on. The tower's prior owner wrote a treatise about removing such defenses. Gottfried's omni-opening grimoire. There must be a copy in the tower. Find it, please. With it in hand, I can try to circumvent the security measures. Send you home and take the tower back to Kavir. Okay. You clearly know who I am. I don't even know your name. Seagull Bunts. Mage and sorcerer in residence at the court of Pompvanis. This tower was to be my new home. Bought it at an auction, you see. A tower at an auction? It belonged to Gottfried Stamfeld, a mage of some renown. When he passed on, his heirs auctioned the edifice off. They were all wary, repulsed. None dared see what Uncle Godfrey kept in his coloured jars. If it was their contents that had stripped him of his sense of smell and taken his left eye, they put the tower on the block along with all it contained. The price was unbeatable. I couldn't resist. Cool. Seen my share of wonders, but a tower that teleports itself? That's something new. This defensive regulatory magic on. I tried to access it. Must have heard. Initiated some evacuation sequence. That opened the portal and jettisoned us through to Skellige. This, in turn, naturally generated electromagnetic disturbances. Hence the storm. Storm I promised to dispel. Then you must find Gottfried's omni-opening grimoire. The corpse is over there. Folk from the village nearby, right? They came in a few days past. I was surprised to see their garb, but it just never entered my mind we might be in Skellige. There were just a few, led by a druid. The tower warned them. They failed to heed. Folk on On Skellig usually laugh in the face of warnings. If the tower had asked nicely, then offered them a horn of mead, they might have left then. Okay. Right. Time to get out of here and send this tower home. Where do I look for Gottfried's treaties? Any ideas? Hmm, the library might be a logical place to start. The key should be in the laboratory. Where's that? As you enter the room opposite, you'll see the laboratory to your left. The library straight ahead. But remember, you're an intruder. The tower is certain to want to stop you. Make things difficult at the least. We'll see who breaks first. All right. All right. Alright, so apparently it's this way. Oh, look at that. Intruder in tower. That is countermeasures in effect. Okay. We're gonna climb up. And we're going to venture into this water, but that's going to be a story for another day. I'm going to thank you now for watching, and I will see you in the next episode, where we continue looking for that book. Peace.